Florida is investigating a major new concern in the fight against the Zika virus, the first possible Zika infection by a mosquito here in the United States. Officials say that the patient did not travel to a region with a known outbreak. The virus has been spreading north for dozens. Dozens of states report having Zika patients, but the Miami case could be the first local transmission. Our chief medical correspondent, Dr. John LaPook, is in New York to bring us up to date. John, this sounds scary. What does it mean exactly? Gail, uh, this could be a big deal. And the way it would happen would not be by mosquitoes flying up from Latin America to the United States. They only travel about a half a mile in their whole life. It would be from a person who was infected, say, in Brazil, coming up here to the United States. Now, there would still be virus in the person's bloodstream. Then an uninfected mosquito in the United States would bite that person, become infected, and then turn around and bite an uninfected person, and now you would have local transmission. And this, isn't this exactly what the CDC was worried about, that this could then mean may more, many more transitions, transmissions rather here in the United States? Uh, th that's exactly right, Nora. And uh, I should say that we have learned that sexual transmission has not been ruled out yet. So there's going to be some further testing that goes on in the next couple of days. And it's expected by Friday that possibility will be established one way or another. In Florida, what are they saying to pregnant women? Well, pregnant women, it's the same advice. And, and the best advice, really, Charlie, is you go to the CDC website and uh, you look under Zika pregnancy and there's very specific advice that's changing a little bit, uh, it seems like, every few weeks. But basically, it's to uh, cover up, make sure that you use insect repellent, try to stay indoors, air conditioning, uh, things like that. But the big next step here in, uh, in the next couple of days is going to be to look at local mosquitoes, which they're already doing, to see if the local mosquitoes in Miami have the Zika virus in it, and also to test people in the neighborhood and see if somehow they've become infected. Because remember, 80% of people who get infected have no symptoms. So it might already have started to spread by local mosquitoes without people knowing it. So, John, why are they publishing it if they're not exactly sure that it is Zika? Gail, How quickly does it spread? Yeah. I, I, worried, I wondered about the same exact thing, and I spoke to a representative of the Florida State uh, Health Department yesterday, and she said, look, the reason why they're even telling us without all the information there with some asterisks is that starting now and in the next few days, they're going door to door. They're going to be knocking on people's doors saying, can we take some blood to test you? They're going to be testing local mosquitoes. And it would have been weird. Uh, people would have started asking questions. So they have made this public announcement. And they're trying to get ahead of it and telling people, look, let's just prepare for the worst, which would be local spread. And in that case, all of the precautions that we've told you about all over uh, time and time again, they want them to start doing now, sooner rather than later. Dr. John LaPoo, thank you so much.